Hello and welcome to Paws channel. Our video today is about an American bully saving a chihuahua from drowning in the water. The American Pit Bull Terrier and the American Bully are both very similar dogs, and that's because they are both Pit Bull type dogs. People often confuse the two and even ask if the Pit Bull and American Bully are the exact same dog breed, even American Staffordshire Terrier is called a Pit Bull by an average Joe. Even all the pit bull lovers out there can sometimes get confused. As most of them have a cross of pits in them, that's why people prefer calling them pit bulls rather than calling them American bullies or American Staffordshire Terrier etc. So to start off with we all should know that every pit bull looking dog isn't necessarily a pit bull. The second thing is that dog training matters a lot. In wrong hands any dog can be deadly taking into account their weight and size. Banning pit bulls would be like banning cars because people get killed in car accidents. Who's responsible, the car or the driver and manufacturer? Any car can be deadly in the wrong hands or if built with defective parts. Same thing goes for any of the dog breeds. Pit bulls are no more responsible for the way they are bred, raised and trained, than cars are responsible for the way they are designed, built and driven. Hey. It's okay. David Lantang gently pats the animal who saved his mother's life. Lily is a female pit bull who was already considered a member of the family, but now the bond is even greater. Last week, Lily pulled her owner Christine away from some railroad tracks in Shirley. Christine was apparently drinking and had passed out. Seconds later, a freight train closed in. The engineer said as he's coming up, he saw the dog pulling her off the tracks. But there wasn't enough time. He said, he then saw the dog coming around between the train and my mom and take the hit of the train. He went back and that's when he saw that my mother was okay, but the, but Lily had, she didn't fare as well. She had, her, her, her paw at least had been run over. Susan Bandera's daughter believes her mother may not be alive today if her dog Caesar hadn't come to her rescue. She didn't know if she was going to make it, it was really scary. The 60-year-old grandmother was woken early Sunday morning by a man in the bedroom of her North Parramatta home. That man was allegedly Penny Nazarilagi, her former housemate who's accused of trying to strangle her. That's when Caesar ran into the room and attacked him, forcing him to flee while Ms Bandera hid in the bathroom. Really proud of him. He's such a good boy. Like I couldn't be more happy with how he reacted and just, yeah, being there for her and being, yeah, being... The chihuahua was playing around with the other dog at the edge of swimming pool. When it slipped and fell into the swimming pool. The chihuahua was clearly distressed after falling into the pool and was whining loudly. This grabbed the attention of the bully pit or American bully and it came to chihuahua's rescue immediately. The hero dog jumped into the pool straight after it saw chihuahua struggling to swim and grabbed it in its mouth and took it out of the pool. So the moral of the story is that a well-trained dog will never let you down, no matter what breed it is and a poorly trained dog will always be a trouble no matter what breed it is. People keep blaming breeds for their actions but in 90% of the cases it's the owners who are to be blamed and not the dog. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.